Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna to take a quick walk around look at this 2011 Dodge Durango Citadel all-wheel drive. This Durango is in brilliant black crystal pearl coat. It has the black luxury leather interior. It is powered by a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine with a five-speed auto stick automatic transmission. It has dual exhaust, trailer tow group, also has a park sense, rear parking sensors, park view backup camera, power lift gate, keyless enter and go. Also has a 20 inch chrome clad aluminum wheels, power sunroof. Also has blind spot monitoring with cross path detection. Adaptive cruise control. Up front you have a chrome grill, high intensity discharge headlamps, with fog lamps. All right, to operate the remote start is easy. Just so locate the remote start button and double press on it on the key fob. All right, and to operate keyless enter go, just keep the key fob in your purse or pocket. To lock the vehicle, locate the button on the door handle. Horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, just grab the handle as you would. The vehicle will unlock. All right, so inside we have power heated mirrors with auto dim driver's side, windows and door locks. Also have two driver memory, eight way power driver and passenger seat with four way adjustable lumbar support. Heated and ventilated perforated leather with the Citadel embroidery in the backrest. Vehicle also has automatic headlamps with fog lamps. Electronic fuel door release. Also have your panel dim. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It has a heated leather wrap steering wheel with audio controls. All right, so inside, just pan through the interior just a little bit more detail. Bluetooth Uconnect audio controls and trip computer controls, as well as cruise control and adaptive cruise. The vehicle currently has 48,147 miles on it. Garmin based navigation. The vehicle also has reverse camera with guidance lines. Dual zone automatic climate control with rear zone control. We've also got controls for your heated and ventilated seats. And then moving down, you have your stability control, tow haul mode, heated steering wheel. You also have your 115 volt out, household style AC outlet, parking sensors, and your rear seat headrest dump. Moving across the center console, illuminated cup holders, transmission selector, and your four wheel drive selector. You have a dual level storage with USB port in the center armrest. All right, and looking overhead, overhead reading lights and map lights. Folks got power lift gate switch, power sunroof control, universal garage door opener, and your ambient light spotlight, automatic dimming rear view mirror. All right, nice wide opening rear doors. Take a look at the middle row seat. It does seat three across, 60-40 split folding seat design with reclining seat backs. The perforated leather continues. Rear seat passengers have their own positional air vents with panel distribution. You also have AV inputs, heated seat controls, and your 115 volt AC outlet. Also have a fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. And looking overhead, rear seat passengers have their own climate controls rear DVD screen with a remote control also has the headphones all right and to fold the seats is easy just locate the lever at the base of the seat and fold down the seats will fold to finish that just locate the tether and unlatch it from the seat catch third row seat seats two across
All right, taking a look at the rear luggage area. It's pretty spacious, even with the rear seats, the third row seats folded up. It does have an all-weather protection mat. 12 volt power point with a couple grocery bag hooks. Power lift gate and switch. Also have a nice little rechargeable torch. LED spotlight. And then underneath the floor mat, some more storage with your jack stowage and a spot for your Alpine subwoofer and amplifier. Trying to fold the seats is easy. Just locate the tabs on the seat backs. All right, to close the lift gate is easy. Just locate that button on the trim panel. All right, this has concluded our quick walk around look at this 2011 Dodge Durango Citadel. If you have any questions or would like to see this vehicle, please contact our showroom. We have a friendly sales staff. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And as always, thanks for watching.